world. Welcome back to Toolbench. I'm George and we are going to make a holster for this trouble, troublesome hype glue gun. As if you've watched my um, recent tool review on this then you'll understand that this hot glue gun is not very stable. It tends to fall down pretty easily and that makes a problem because then hot glue backs up in the um, tubing and whatnot, and it doesn't melt correctly, and it creates jams, and yeah, yeah, yeah. it's if you if you use hot glue guns a lot, you'll understand what I'm talking about. It's a big, big pain in the ass. Anyways, so today we have a um, a cutout from an old speaker project. Always save these for little things like that. Then we can just go into a box, boom. So what we're going to do is we are going to make a hot glue gun holster so it'll be something that holds there'll be a little part for the tip and then there'll be a part for the rest of this to rest I think we are going to pull this little piece off and we might shave off this piece right here too I think that'll help us so without further ado I'll pause the video get some tools out and we will get ready to build all right so we're back here with the setup and we have some screws our MDF board which we are going to use as our donor board and our platform and we have a hot glue gun for to make sure we got fitting correctly and whatnot we have some coat lovely absolutely the best thing in the world coat hanger we also have some needle nose pliers with some wire built in wire cutters and we also have an assortment of screws. Now what we're going to do first is pick out some screws that are roughly about the same length here if possible to make sure that we got some good mounting screws for the cup hanger. Alright, there's one. Um, that one looks like that's been there's another one. Alrighty, let's see here. That's a decent one. Um, same story with that guy. He's been looks like he accidentally got potted. was potted too. Um, that should be enough. We'll start with that. Ow. Don't poke yourself with screws. Alright. Always put your screws up. And always sweep your garage after every single project because you never know if you're going to get a screw in your car tire. And by doing that, every single time you're done building, that means you know you've, you're done messing with all your screws, all your tools, so that way, when you are messing, when you do sweep, you know that you are getting every possible chance of there being a flat. You are eliminating every chance. Alright, set those aside. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and start prepping our coat hanger. Which is easy as do re me. And we shall start with one. Set these to the side. If we need them, we'll come get them. Hang them over there on that screw. Always handy to have a bunch of screws just screwed in. Alright, so the first thing we will need to make is like a little holster for the end tip. So, we need to make sure we get a good angle of approach, but I'm going to go ahead and remove this piece since we're not going to need it anymore. Which wasn't hard at all. That'll help it sit a little bit better in our holster. Makes it a little bit easier. We won't need those. Alright. 
and it's perfectly safe. Alrighty, so, excuse me for yawning. I am a bit snoozy. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and start um, bending our coat hanger. I moved the camera, if you guys can maybe tell, so that you're coming down more because one thing I noticed um, is the camera was not only in my way, but I was getting in the way of the camera. My head was getting in the way. So I'm going to look at this video when I edit it and see if it's any better. It should be. Hoping it is. So I am hoping. Y'all tell me if I'm still in the way. I don't think so. I'll be able to check though. I go through the videos fairly quickly when I edit them. Well, shit. I don't pay too much attention to it when I edit. I'm more concerned about just getting it done so the next video I film is ready to go. So, what I'm going to do is we're going to figure out about how high we need it. Alright, so we're going to make a little, slight little bend right here. That's going to help the angle at which the iron will sit at. There we go. Oh man, I bent it the wrong way. And there's a bug getting me. I hate summertime for bugs. There we go. Let's see. Uh oh. I didn't make that one long enough. Yikes. Alright, so we're gonna restart that one. Alright, we're gonna restart that piece. Yikes. Sorry, folks. Now you understand that I'm not perfect. I'm just doing the best I can. We're trying to. Let's see here.
Mm -hmm. Sorry, I just realized that I was doing some of that out of frame. Oh, I like it. I like it so far. I like it, like it, like it. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and screw that down. Right there. Oh my god, what in the world is itching me? Sorry, folks. Let me get my screwdriver. That's what it was. Found it. Mosquito. Mosquito was eating me alive. Whew. I hate mosquitoes. I hate mosquitoes. 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 Where in the world? Yeah. Hold on, folks. Today we're... Alright, we're just going to have to use this screwdriver because I cannot find the one I normally use. Sorry, folks. I'm well, not really sorry for you. It's really sorry for me, but hey, it happens. It's not as much confidence, it's inspiring. You have to push hard down on this screwdriver versus the other one. I have no clue where the hell it went. Alright, that's good. Hold on. Let me see if I got the other one. All my stuff is disappearing. I don't get it. <laughs> Where the hell is my stuff? Where did you get find it? I literally just saw it like minutes ago earlier today.
I ran across it and not know what to do with it. Back to the task at hand. So now that we got that piece. a little bit. Thinking piece right here that goes up the sides, holds it. That should work. God, that mosquito got me good. Jesus. Like an itch and frenzy. Goddamn mosquitoes. Fuck. Son of a damn it. That's one of my words, guys, by the way. Say right about there, bend it down as flat as possible, and then it's going to go down to about here. Keep it from tipping, and then this Well, we'll have to do is we'll have to attach a couple of braces that come from this to that. That, that should help. But I'm liking it. It's going well. It's going too well. Something's gotta. Something has to fuck up.
deep heavens. I need to find that other screwdriver. <laughs> Squeaks like a motherfucker. Jesus Christ almighty. Now it's straight. must be the same. Sorry, bumped you guys. My apologies, let me make sure you're still recording. Yay, you are. It's not failing. It's not failing. Life has not failed. Life has only slightly prevailed. That is in there. Alright, so that's what we gotta do. We gotta make two little thingamabobs. The more robust, the better. Because that gives it less, less of a chance to break. Which is good. Anti-breaking is what we want. We want to prevent breaking. Or things from breaking. Same difference. I'm sure you people understand. Alrighty. So got a fish piece of cake hangy. A fresh piece.
Yes. That went splendidly. That went too well. That was not supposed to go so well. But it did. I like it. I like it. Hot glue gun stand. There you folks go. There you have it. I like it. So, probably can't see it from that angle, but here's how it works. We have a little slot for the tip. It fits in very nicely. And we have these two bars here for reinforcement, increases structural rigidity, and it just slides in. Well, folks, there you go. A beautiful, beautiful holster for your hot glue gun. No more tipping, no more spilling, no more nothing. There you go. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Tell me what you think of this build. And we'll have plenty more builds to come. So, stick around. Until next time, thanks for watching Toolbench. I'm George, and I'll see you later.